Hello and welcome to this Substance Painter tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to have a look at radial symmetry and how we can put a design around a model without you know too much problem. Um, so rather than you know stamping something down then moving your model rotating it stamping stamp we want to do it all in one go and for that we can use radial symmetry. So let's uh, add a new layer to start with. I'll use a fill layer uh, I'll right click and add a black mask and then right click and add a, a gen not a generator a paint layer and with this layer then we can start to work so if I turn on symmetry up here uh, you'll see that it comes in we've got a, a line down the middle here and if I draw on one side it replicates it on the other um, this is basically mirror symmetry but we want radial symmetry so in the options then We'll switch to radial symmetry and select the Y option. Uh, we have a couple of things here we can use. So we've got a count here and a uh, an angle span. So the angle span, if I turn it down to say 180, it's only going to go around half the model. It's going to put you know the count around half of the model. But if I go to 360, it will put that count equally spaced around the entire model. Okay, so uh, what do we need to do? First of all, pick your alpha that you want to uh, paint with. Let's pick this one. You can scale it up or down as you want to with the uh, control and right mouse. And then you can stamp that down and away it goes. And then, you know, if you wanted to add to that, you could add another one. Perhaps scale that down and then put one between and so on and so forth until you've built up a nice design that you're happy with um, and that's it essentially but radial symmetry um, it's not the only thing you could do you don't have to just do it in Y you could do it in X for example uh, or Z so if I switch here, here go to my radial symmetry and go to um, X instead of Y you'll see that I get a new kind of center point it's a dot this time rather than a, um, a line and if I paint there you'll see it gives me a little ring instead of you know a ring in a, a point instead of a ring around the model um, but that's not you know really very useful in that spot so you can go here and in your settings you can move your X and Z axis to exactly where you want it. So say I wanted it down there instead of up where we started, I can go down there, let's scale this back up again and pop it down. And now you can make rings and do all sorts of things. And similarly, we could do that with Z as well. If we come out and find the point that that's going to do it on, uh, it's there, look, we can pop one there as well of course you know my things are all overlapping at the moment uh, but if I go to my options and I'll reduce the number and try again oops it's a bit, a bit bigger than that and there we go we can get a ring as well so you know you can create some designs you know using alphas using all sorts of things you can even use projection paint um, to really build up a you know quite an elaborate pattern around your model okay so that's essentially it i hope you found that useful uh, it gives you some inspiration and i will talk to you in another video soon